Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to another episode of Kevin Plays the Captain. Today, we are meeting Mr. Bossman. That's right. Last time, well, we need to meet Mr. Bossman to, uh... Oh my, why am I trying to do WASD? No, it's just click. Everything's just click, click, click in this video. So, um, in this game, actually. So... Uh, last video, well, we're trying to get a ticket to get home through the space gate because we have to save the wife who is who is being under attack by the U by the union, uh, which is basically the group of space organizations that's attacking the Earth. And so, of course, we gotta bring home a uh, uh, fuel cell to defeat the union's super weapon, the sun blaster. And so we're trying to get a ticket to go through the space gate to get home in time to save the wife, basically, is what we're doing. So uh, to do that, we have to meet with Mr. Bossman. To meet with Mr. Bossman, we had to do three things for Raj here in our last video. And we did that. So now we are off to see Mr. Bossman. And let me see what we have. This is our elevator key. Oh, up to the penthouse. You see the P for penthouse there. And then we got our little device here, some stuff here. Yeah, we gotta sell this, sell this listening device. Oh, we I think we gave him back. He gave us a spy device too, which I guess we automatically gave back to him. Let me see here. Let's go talk to him. Ooh, Zeus, Zeus, don't want to do that. Come on. All right, let's talk to him. Oh, just see you later. We don't have, to, don't talk to him. So let's sell our. Now if I see you first, okay. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's let's go have a beer. Uh, sure, sure. Uh, what do you have to offer? Well, today I can offer you a brew of your choice from my impeccable assortment of award-winning beers. Oh, you got my attention. Please give me a suggestion. Okay, how about a bottle of the phenomenal Bright Brew Old Man's Kiss? Now, we tried that before. Let's try something else. What else? I see. How about a bottle of the infamous three-time pale ale champion, Madam Blue Nose? All right, sure. Great. Come, coming right up. That'll be two credits. Here you are. Now, last time he drank it automatically, I think. Oh, well. And it grew right out of his head. No, I'm joking. All right. All right. So, if you guys happen to like the video, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell notification. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much. I greatly appreciate it. Now, let's see if our little friend is over here to... Oops. Come on. He's not here. Yeah, there he is. He's our man. Our little friend to sell stuff. Yes, we're going to sell him all the stuff we can. We can. I might have something to sell. What do you got? Fancy necklace. Is this what I think it is? Do you even know what you have here? Yes, I do. I'll give you 300 credits here and now for this. No questions asked. Deal. Great. Nice doing business with you. Yeah, sold the necklace. Me gain, I got the blue hearts. Alright. See, some fast cash here in lime. And let's try selling this thing. We don't need it anymore. I have this high tech listening device. Yeah, I see. Very nice indeed. So it listens then. Yeah, it's a listening device. I hear you. Listen, <laughs> I'll give you 40 for it. Oh, okay, sure. Deal. Great. Nice doing business with you. Oh, he got something. It's better than nothing. Okay. Alright, we're done. So let's go up to the penthouse and meet the boss. Mr. Bossman. Alrighty. 
I think we just go straight to the elevator. Oh, hold on, hold on. See, 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 uh, talk to this guy. Good afternoon, sir. How may I help you? Nope, that's it. Nope, we already tried that before. All right. Where's the elevator? There we go. All right. Let's go up to the penthouse. See the boss, Mr. Bossman. All right, so we can look around here first. Not much to look around, but all right, so we got this little panel here. Let's look at it. Oh, warning! Do not connect an external power source while the system is already powered. This might cause a power surge and blow master fuse. All right, looks like there's a battery socket here. It's a connector for a standard power cell battery. Okay. I think it's saying don't connect the battery there is what it's saying. Okay. All righty. Welcome, Mr. Wellmu. I hope the elevator ride was to your satisfaction. Please come over here so that Mr. Bosman can have a good look at you. Boss! Don. This is Captain Thomas Wellmu. He has proven himself friendly to our cause. Oh, a friend. Good, good. Do you know who I am? I guess you are Mr. Bossman? That is what they call me. But that is not who I am. Oh, I don't know. Perhaps you are... I am the king! I am the engine that makes this town run. Without me, this godforsaken dump would have been a fishing village at most. I am sorry to stress the issue, sir, but we should really get down to business. We have the meeting with the group at four, remember? Mm, right you are, Stripe. So, what can I do for you, Mr. Wellmu? I was told you had access to the space gate. I really need to get back to Earth as soon as possible. Earth? Yes. Hmm. I heard this Earth planet got itself into a lot of trouble. Isn't that right, Stripe? Yes, sir, that's correct. The entire Union fleet is on route to Earth as we speak. Right. Why would anyone in his right mind want to go there? I have my whole family there need to get back to them. I see. I can understand that. So, can you help me? Hmm, help is an expensive word, son. Ah, uh, your guy Raj said you might. Raj? He is referring to Roger Scummerson, sir. One of your friends here on Alien Square. I see. Mr. Wellmu. You must understand that favors, like everything else in life, have a price. But I thought I'd already paid that price by helping Raj. Well, your efforts did grant you a sit down with me. If further favors, it further favors, oh, if further favors are desired, further costs need to be paid. Stripe, please enlighten Mr. Wellmu what is expected of him. Yes, right. We are in need of a courier, you see. Someone that cannot be connected to us in any way, if you know what I mean. So, you want me to be this courier? You see, boss. I told you he had a bright, we had a bright one here. You will deliver a package to the Pi system. They currently have the annual exhibition there. And the main attraction is their new upper space prototype engine. Man, that's a lot of smoke right there. Look at that. That can't be healthy. Anyway, this new engine is a huge threat to our interest in the space gate. They claim that it's both cleaner and cheaper to send ships with their technology. 
but in reality all it will do is make this quadrant politically unstable. If it goes public, business will suffer. And business can never suffer. All you have to do is place a package close to their prototype, activate it, and leave. It's nothing really. Anyway, Techly here will give you all the details you need to know about the package. Remember, do this for us and we will grant you a trip to your sector through the space gate. Is it me now? Yes, Techly. Please bring Mr. Wellmu here up to date about the package. Right. If you come over here to the table, I will show you the package. Ah. Hi. So let's see. Have you worked with packages before? Yeah, sure, I delivered one earlier today. Oh, great, then this won't be a problem. First, you will have to place the package close to the upper space prototype. Then all you have to do is press this trigger. The bomb will then go off and destroy the upper space fabric around it. Wait a minute, the package is a bomb? Yeah, uh, yeah, of course. What else would it be? Uh, you must be joking. <clears throat> no, I'm afraid not. Uh, let's see. Well, we have to do it. Let me see. Well, let's see why, but I don't want to do that. Let's say that. Please. You shouldn't argue with Mr. Bossman. He can be very persuasive. Aligning yourself with my point of view often keeps people alive. You see, very persuasive, persuasive indeed. You mean that I'm forced to do this? Force is such an ugly expression. I'd say you are persuaded. Just like me, then. Who are you? <clears throat> Sigh. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm nobody, really. I used to work for this great research company. Until Mr. Bossman bought me up, that is. Bought it up, that is. Now my main research are focus on weapon design and other practical solution related stuff. Alright, so how does the bomb work? It's not actually a bomb as such. It's kind of like a disruptor device. One detonation and it will disrupt the entire upper space fabric and a pretty large area around it. Oh, look at that shadow of a fan going around. You see that? I haven't noticed that before this the last time I played this. Look at that. That was one of my fans here, but no, it's not. Wow. Okay, anyway. Uh, let's see. Uh, da, da, round area around it. The upper space engine will become completely useless. It is actually perfectly safe to be close to it when it goes off. Remember that line, everyone. It won't hurt anything around it but the upper space field. I guess Space Gate Corp doesn't like competition. It's all about political stability, technically. Of course, Mr. Stripe. Couldn't the bomb also disrupt the Space Gate technology? No, not really. It's an upper space disruptor. The Space Gate folds lower space. I guess the same technique could be used to disrupt lower space. But this bomb is hard calibrated only to affect the upper space. So it is impossible to recalibrate it for lower space? Hmm. Maybe not actually. But it would take a real expert on lower space technology to be able. Please, Techly, let's not bore our courier with that nonsense. Right. Just give me the damn bomb then. <laughs> <laughs> oh lord things we are forced to do in this game sure you can take it from the table here uh, you also need this ticket to enter the exhibition where the engine is displayed just one little question how am I supposed to get this package out through the trade border that won't be a problem it's been cleared with the customs department oh okay one more thing, Mr. Wellmu. Be careful not to get lost during this mission. We can trace the bomb through its specific upper space resonance field. So 
So stick to your path and all will be fine. Techly. Yes, sir. Please escort Captain Walmo down to the lobby. Of course, sir. You better go now, Mr. Walmo. Dawn. Just one thing before we leave. Eh, I noticed that you sense to have some reservations about using the bomb, right? Yes, it feels like I'm being forced into this. I can totally understand that. You know, there might be another way out of this. Tell me more. Captain, I want you to know. I'm taking huge risk trusting you with this. But it's too good an opportunity to miss out. And you strike me as a righteous man. I am actually working for the resistance. The resistance? We are a small group working against the corruption here on Lime. The space gate is the key. It is polluting the fabric of space and politically has only benefited the rich. What is the opportunity you mentioned? We actually talked about it inside Bossman's office. I think it would be possible to recalibrate the bomb to affect lower space technology instead of upper space. This bomb could then be used to get rid of the space gate once and for all. That would help both of us, you know. Uh, how would that help me so you can recalibrate the bomb? Let me see. Uh, let's do how that, how would that help me? You don't know? The Limian government is letting the Union use the space gate. If it were to collapse, it would dramatically diminish the Union's reinforcements. So, you can recalibrate the bomb? No, that job requires a lower space expert. We would need Professor Yeppenheimer. He is the chief architect of that next version of the space gate. The only problem is that Mr. Bossman knows his value and is currently keeping him at a secret location. If you help us find him, we can at least offer you an option of what to do with the bomb. Uh, okay. Let's see. Any ideas on where to look for Yippenheimer's address? Not really. I know that Mr. Bossman keeps important documents in the safe in his office. But the man never leaves. I think he sleeps behind that desk. It's not like you could just turn off the lights and sneak in. <laughs> hint, hint. Uh, okay, when I get to trouble with Bossman by recalibrating the bomb. Hey! All they really want is to delay the development of the upper space engine. They don't care how you do it. That's a good hint right there, too. If you manage that, you might as well save the bomb for us. Just come and see when you have some information on Yippenheimer. I mostly hang out in the hotel lobby when I get the chance. The bomb. Okay. Okay. So, let's look. So this is disruptor trigger. <laughs> well, we just saved, right? I think we just saved. It's of no use to do that now. <laughs> okay, the bomb has to be closer to the upper space prototype. Okay. Alrighty. That's good to know. Upper space disruptor bomb. A bomb designed to disrupt the upper space field. There is a label stating cleared for lime import export. Okay. Let's dismantle this. Alright. So that clue about uh, sneaking in with the lights off. Here we go. So we got... Disruptor bomb part one, disruptor bomb part two, and a power cell. There you go. 
how are we supposed to know to dismantle this? We don't. So, it's just one of those things you have to know. So let's go up back up to the penthouse. Uh, this guy... So let's try doing this. Stripe, what happened? I'm not sure, sir. I will check it out. I'll be right back. Okay, but hurry up, will you? All right, I think the lights went out in Boskin's office. Maybe I can sneak in there without them noticing now. I'll just take my battery first. Alright, let's do it. Alright. Or... I think this is a plant. Okay. Hmm, this feels like a chair. Ooh, this must be a huge painting. If I'm not mistaken, I say this is a horse. Stripe! I think it's a small note. Something seems to be written on it. Well, read it. It's too dark to read it in here. Okay. Alright, we're gonna have to go back to where it's light outside. Note. Read. Save combination. Right, right, left, right. Should be easy enough to remember, right? Right, right, left, right. Okay. All right. Here. Chair. I think this is an ordinary chair. And this must be the safe. Feels like a safe. It has a large reel, wheel and some sort of lever. Safe wheel. Okay, we could do right, right, left, right, safe lever. Got it! It is open. Let's feel what's in here. That's a bit odd considering the size of the safe. It only seems to contain a small book and what feels like a minor amount of money. I'll just grab everything. Now you better get out of here before they get the lights fixed. All right. Yay! All right. Ah. Switching out mice here because I forgot to do that. Okay, so now Let me see here. So we still got our power cell good. All right, let's get get out of here We'll head down to the uh, lobby There he is right there. Yes, sir. Of course, sir. I will disable all the keys to the penthouse right away, sir. Uh-oh. 
Master Thief stole from Bossman. Ah. Wonder, wonder what's going on there. Good afternoon, sir. Hey, how may I help you today? No thanks. All right. All right. Let's read that diary. Right in front of that guy. Oh, his boss's private address book, and it contains the address to Yeppenheimer. All right. Well, let's talk to Techly here. Hello again. Have you found anything that might help us? Actually, I have Ippenheimer's hammer. Ah, yeah. I have his address. You do? How did you get a hold of such exclusive information? A magician never reveals his tricks. Indeed, indeed he does not. So, can I see what you have found? Sure, here. I can't believe this. What? This address is located in the middle of the city. Hidden in plain sight, I guess. Yes, yes indeed. Let's go there together. I think I can convince him to help us. I'll meet you outside Yippenheimer's in about 30 minutes, okay? Okay. Great, don't forget to bring the bomb. <laughs> yeah, I wonder if he heard that. Don't forget to bring the bomb. Oh my goodness. All right. So what's he going to do? I have to go find Yippenheimer? All right. I think we could go here, right? Yippenheimer. Yep, that was added right here. We are here. That was added here, so let's go there. Oh, a couple trash cans. Oh, really? Yay! Alright, let's talk to Tech Lee. There you are. I was just about to go inside. Have You have the bomb on you, right? Of course. I was just thinking how brave you are to go through with this, Captain. I'm just trying to my best to navigate this moral, moral, moral jungle. Yep, aren't we all? So, this is La Casa de Yippenheimer, then. Yes, it is. This is where he supposedly works and lives. Hey, look at that. You can see Tower 65 on Alien Square from here. I guess that's this one? With that little symbol there. I need you to focus, Captain. Sorry, I'll be as focused as a medical laser. Zing. Sorry? Zing. That's the sound of something very focused. Right. Let me handle the talking when we get inside, okay? I'll be a fly on the wall. Who is this? Hello, Bob. It's me, Tim. Who? Tim Techley. Techley? Ah, you mean Tim Two Foot from Department Z? The very same. Oh my. What a pleasant surprise. It's been such a long time since. Too long, comrade. What in the whole creation of the universe brings you here? And how did you ever find me? That, my friend, is a complicated story. A story I would love to tell you. But I'm afraid I'm not here to socialize. My reasons are of a more serious nature. May we come inside? Dot, dot, dot. Hold on a minute. There he is. Hello down there. Oh, hello, old man. Who is the blue suit you have with you, Tim? This is Captain Wellmu from Space Fleet. I can't risk strangers, Tim. My employer wants me isolated. He is harmless. He is the reason this risk might be worthwhile. 
Mm. Listen to me, Bob. I know you like the back of I know you like the back of my hand, and I know you want to hear this. Alright then. You you know I trust you, Tim. Give me a sec and I'll buzz you in. Come in, come in. Tim Techley, you old goat herder. Warms my heart to see you here. I can only say the same, Bob. I was just about to put on some tea. Do you want some? We're fine, thanks. Okay, let's see if I can scramble together some hard bread for you. Please, Bob, we should get down to the reason we are here. Oh, yes, of course. So it all sounds very important. Game changing. I have come here to discuss the future of Spacegate. I seem to remember you have some objections to the government laying the Union through the gate. Objections? It is downright criminal. The gate was built for peace to secure a bridge between systems and people. Still feels like yesterday the first time we broke the lower space barrier. We truly believed we saw the birth of a new prosperous era. You know, this work I do here, developing the space gate hyperpool spool engine, it is truly the next level. Some of the initial tests are showing amazing potential. I'm telling you, Tim, it is seriously scary stuff. This is stupid. You know this next version will make this entire sector unstable. Not to mention what an environmentally devastating cluster bomb it will be. Just stop this madness. I can't. Are they forcing you? It is complicated, Tim. Well, I would think they are forcing them. They can't force you, Bob. Yeah, they can. You have to say something. Tell the authorities. You know as well as me that you don't stand up to Mr. Bossman without a suicidal army behind you. He controls everything on this damn planet. I can't even leave the premises without his goons picking me up. Forget it. It will all end once I finish my hyperspool engine for Mr. Bossman. No, it will just keep going and going. There will always be one more thing. Sounds like I came at the right moment. What are you saying? Techly explained the reason for their visit and how recent events have opened up new opportunities for the future. It didn't take long for Yippenheimer to grasp the potential damage this device could do to the space gate. Intrigued by the idea, he immediately started working on recalibrating the bomb. There! Done. Already? I work fast when I believe in the product. That's good. I just thought that it was uh, a bomb you wouldn't want to rush it. This thing is now so customized to the space gate lower space field, it couldn't possibly go off at any other circumstance. Hmm, I wonder. I wonder. You are a genius, my old friend. We're going to try it anyway. It feels like I'm finally working for the good guys. You are. Now we need to find a way to deliver this bundle to the target. Perhaps Mr. Silent over there? Uh, why me? This is your project. <laughs> well, it's your bomb, Captain. What? <laughs> And with the Union using the Space Gate as a war delivering pipeline to the Space Fleet, this concerns you as much as us. Hmm, I don't know. Then it's decided. It is? This should be nothing to a well-decorated Space Fleet captain like yourself. I'm not decorated. <laughs> the bomb is set to detonate upon contact with the lower space field of the Space Gate. That means it will automatically blow up as the gate initiates the jump. I have some reservations about being close to that thing as it goes off. I feel your concerns. Yeah, me too. Good. 
You should find a way to send it through the space gate with one of the luggage pods. Tim, uh, surely you can, with our connections, get the man access to one of the registration hubs. Yes, perhaps. I can print you out a level 2 security card, which will give you free access to the luggage distribution area once inside. This might work. What about guards and other security? Oh, these registration hubs are not heavily guarded. Okay. You are a brave man, Captain Wellmoo. Lime thanks you and will be forever grateful. Let's hope for brighter times, friends. Well said. Okay. Recalibration. Lower space disruptor bomb. Okay. Well, maybe it won't work then. I don't know. Well, we'll see. Okay. So I think the thing we need to do now is go back to our ship. All right. We are at Alien Square. Oh, we can recycle the cans we have left. Two. Two whole cans. Alright. Are we on cash? Oh, pretty good. 833. Alright. Good afternoon, sir. Please hold your hand under the scan until you hear the beep. Thank you. Okay, so we're storing this, 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 yeah, ooh, and that, 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 yeah. Yeah, we don't need that, I guess, and then we could continue on with this stuff. You will accept. Thank you, sir. You are now free to enter. All right, so we have a lower space disruptor bomb. We can't dismantle it or nothing. Okay, so this won't this won't work. This, I was thinking let's try this on the upper space thing, but no, nah, it won't work. Okay, to disrupt the yeah, because uh, the other one had a uh, trigger. The other one had a trigger. Okay, so not a problem. I'm going to show you all the endings anyway for Pi anyway so on what we could do. Really want to leave, yes. Yes. Okay. And I think we will end the video there uh next video we will go to pi and see what we could do at pi and i'll try and show you all the endings up at pi so uh thank you all for watching um, um and uh thank you all for watching if you happen to like the video feel free to hit that like subscribe bell notification and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much i greatly appreciate it all right take care and have a good night